just love this time of year. I'm so excited. So excited about this. Let's see. Oh, look at the presents already under the tree. That is the best part of the holiday season. Present. Present. Hello, present, ladies. present. How are y'all doing? Y'all doing good? for you. Oh my goodness, I just love when we get together like this. Here, come over here. All right. This is awesome. Okay. Who's this that? Oh, she has a beard. <laughs> it's a boy. So, all right, girls, I'm just so excited about our annual gift <laughs> exchange. I have a list. Look, isn't that cute? I bought this brand new for this year. Isn't that awesome? Okay, so I'm thinking we could just all kind of talk about some things that we really want for Christmas, and then that will kind of give each of us an idea, and then we can go shopping, and then we'll have uh, lunch at a really, really super expensive restaurant, maybe one that we haven't tried oh, yet, yes. <laughs> and then we can exchange our gifts in front of everybody where everybody can see what we're getting. I love it, I love it. Good. <laughs> Look at this bow. It just fluffed a little bit. I'm pretty sure this one's for me. <laughs> Oh, that big one's for me. Are you sure? Yeah, I need new shoes. <laughs> All right, so I'm thinking I really, really need some new perfume. Oh. Not cologne, perfume. Mm -hmm. Perfume. Mm -hmm. And so uh, you're not writing this down. Can you remember? I can remember. Okay. You know, girl. Now, the kind that I really like is actually right around $9,500, dollars but specials at the cosmetics counter and you can get an extra gift with them. Ooh. Yes. Uh -huh. So, all right. So perfume. Oh, right, you I know what you. I want? I want my nails done at that new salon, Buddy's Nail Salon. Yes. He is the best. He, oh, girl, he is good. He can do your nails and toes. <laughs> Ooh. I have heard that Buddy oh, is just beyond fabulous. Oh, yes, he is. Now, I know that it costs around $75. Oh, it's high. Hey, it's good, spa girl. Treatment. It's good. Oh, okay. All right. You're so. You can't. Oh. So good. <laughs> okay, so Charlene wants the Manny Petty at Buddy's. Okay, yes. Manny Petty. I'll put that, I'm going to write it down and then I'll email everybody. Sounds good. Okay, right. and Thanks. then I want the perfume. Now we need a couple of different ideas. Oh, well, I want what some new shoes, you know, the high heel kind. Oh, you know, the real tall ones? The Do you like those? With oh, the I want the Don't you like it, those little wedge at the front? Oh, I might need some new shoes. Oh, I yeah, girl. Oh, the toe line. Oh, oh how did that happen? Yeah, uh -huh. All right, so... Um, and do we need to go to BCBG to get those? Oh, I don't think you want any knockoffs. Okay, yeah, exactly. BCBG's. Okay, exactly. awesome. Oh, I saw this great, great sweater in this little boutique at Mall of Georgia. And I think I could probably use it during resort season. It's a little pricey. It was $110, but I'm pretty sure that they'll have a sale. But each there's a different button for each thing. It's like four or five different color buttons, and they're designer. They're antique buttons. And the sweater is hand-knit. I love it. Oh, but it's not like that dress I done seen for me. You know, this is getting a little raggedy. And I give me a new dress. It's about $200, but it's OK. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. OK, so it's a dress. Hey, girls, I had an idea. A budget? How low? I don't know, like maybe $20? $20? Huh, I could get a right shoe. Maybe. $20? Get my $20. Hmm, $20. Uh, That's actually not bad. Get some nice things, but. Well, $20. But <laughs> the thing is, not $20. Wait a minute. So you're saying first that 
you want to reduce the amount of our gift exchange, our annual gift exchange that we've done for years and years and years and years because we're best friends, to $20. $20 each. So I spent $20, and, and then, so that would just be $40 is all you're thinking that we're going to spend for Christmas? Then you're going to have it because you're going to, you know, I was reading about these kids for tots. They really need the toys. And so you're saying then we're only going to spend ten dollars on each of us. So basically, uh, forget going to buddies. Uh huh. Forget that. I mean, maybe you could go to CVS and uh, buy a couple of bottles of nail polish. So yeah, that'd be really great. And then you haven't even said what you want, Kel, but um, ten dollars is what you're suggesting us spend on you. And that's what you are gonna spend on me. One of your like oldest and dearest a what? Toaster. A toaster. You mean like those funky colored ones that they had at Target for $8 yeah. on Black Friday? Like, who would even buy those? And I saw people just throwing them into their carts like they were the best thing. To... That's what your husband would buy for you, a toaster. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you got lunch here? No, my hand's broken. So, oh. he needs something that I kind of need. It's not something that I really need. It has to have, but I'd like to have one. Well, so, basically... These lists are out the window, <laughs> and I am really shocked that we are reducing Christmas to this level. I mean, we have been friends for years and years and years, and you are saying that we're just going to buy some piddly little El Cheapo gift and give to each other. We're supposed to be good, dear friends, and you think all I'm worth is 10 stinking dollars? And you want to take the other $10 of this big $20 budget and give it to somebody we don't even know who probably could care less about the fact that we've been friends for years and years? Well, I'm not going to have any of it. I'm going to go find somebody else to do a Christmas gift exchange with. Thank you very much. Happy holidays, girls. Baby. Well, uh, I don't think she like that. No. You know, Kel, you've been acting a little different these days. Well, what's really going on? Well, the real meaning of Christmas is what's going on. It's not about two hundred dollars worth of gifts or one to buddies to get my fingernails done. But they would look good. Okay. Yeah, but. It's about giving instead of getting. And these kids, they, they don't have anything. And we have I mean, a lot. Just think about how much it would feel in your heart to give. You know, I've been trying to do that more often, and uh, I love it. It makes me feel so complete and warm inside. And I just, well, I don't know. Maybe I have to try Well, let me tell you, I've been going to church, and... They told me this first, and I saved it in my phone because I like to go back and look at it. And it's 2 Corinthians 9 7. It says, Each of you should give what you have decided in your heart to give, not reluctantly, but reluctantly, or under compulsion. For God loves a cheerful giver. Not a cheerful taker, a cheerful giver. So. Just, I just feel it in my heart. And well, you know, Kel, since you put it that way, I, I'm all for doing doing it. But maybe if we went and got speech and kind of explained it like you explained it to me there, she may change. I don't know. It's just her attitude about the whole thing. That's all she cares about is give me, give me, give me. And... But I was, I was the same way because, you know, I wanted my nails to my buddy. But when you talk about the Bible verse and you talk about being a cheerful giver, it makes me want to do that. It makes me want to have that feeling you talked about. So maybe if we go find Beans and tell her that, she'll be the same way. Do you think maybe she'll want to give her a whole $20? You know, she's crazy. She may want to do something like that. Maybe if we go find her and take her to lunch. 
and soften her up some and buy her lunch. Oh. And then we'll tell her that about it. That work. Let's, Let's go. That. Oh, let me get my purse through, but I want a new purse. I guess I just keep this one. Salvation Army. They oh. Plenty. Salvation <laughs> Army. She just got a sleep. I ain't never been there. Well, I'll show you. What are you going to say to me? Tell me to go to college.